सो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित वेर इन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑन थीरियोजिनोलॉजी एंड इन आवर टुडेज टॉक वी डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द सीमन डाइल्यूशन एंड इट्स प्रजर्वेशन फ्रेंड्स आई एक्सटेंड माई सिंसियर थैंक्स टू ऑल दोज हुव सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब टू इट so that you receive our videos very fast now semen dilution uh, is done for the following two purposes to increase the number of services per ejaculate and to preserve the fertilizing capacity of the spermatozoa for long periods uh, now what are the properties of an ideal semen diluter which is also known as the extender the extender should be isotonic 280 to 300 milliosmoles per kg with blood and semen it should have a buffering capacity and therefore should regulate the ph of the semen it should provide protection from cold shock it should have a source of energy to provide energy for anaerobic and aerobic metabolism of the spermatozoa it should control the microbial contamination and it should preserve the sperm fertility sperm cells are fragile and thus require some protection for from temperature changes philips and lardy 1939 were the first to use egg yolk for protecting the bull sperm from temperature shock upon cooling this protection was explained by the effect of phosphatidylcholine lecithin phospholipids and lipoproteins in the egg yolk Salisbury and Associates improved the media by using egg yolk with sodium citrate permitting the use of semen at 5 degree centigrade for up to 3 to 4 days Alternatively milk can be used as a diluent but milk contains lactanin which is spermicidal hence should be removed by heat treatment Now these are the types of uh, different types of diluters have been used for different species the choice of diluter depends upon the species and the way semen would be stored whether it is to be stored in liquid state or in a frozen state the diluters used for preservation at room temperature the diluters used for preservation of semen at refrigeration temperature and lastly the dilute uh, diluters used for preservation at ultra low temperatures minus 79 to minus 196 degree centigrade now uh, a wide variety of diluters have been developed the diluters for preservation at ambient temperatures include the coconut milk extender which is prepared which is prepared as follows in the a solution sodium citrate dihydrate 2.2 g penicillin g sodium 60 mg dihydrostreptomycin sulfate 135 mg sulfonylamide 300 mg polymyxin b sulfate 10 mg catalase 15000 international units and mycostatin are added and then glass distilled water is added to make the solution 60 to 70 ml in the solution b coconut milk is boiled uh, coconut water is boiled for 10 minutes and filtered and 15 ml of this coconut water is added to the buffer a then to the a and b solution 7 ml of egg yolk is added by mixing and the volume is brought to 100 ml by adding distilled water and adjusting the ph to 7.4 then there is the melanose extender this is prepared as shown here potassium dihydrogen phosphate 72 mg distilled water 10 ml and then sodium citrate dihydrate 2.025 g glucose 0.570 g sodium bicarbonate penicillin g sodium dihydrostreptomycin sulfonylamide are added and glass distilled water is added to make 90 ml then the part a and b are mixed in the ratio of 1 is to 9 and to this mixture is added 11 ml of egg yolk by mixing then the third extender at which using which semen can be kept at room temperature is illini variable temperature extender ivt ivt is prepared as follows sodium citrate dihydrate 2 g sodium bicarbonate 0.210 g potassium chloride 0.040 g glucose 300 g 
sulfanilamide and distilled water to make 100 ml. Carbon dioxide gas is passed through the above solution till the pH reaches 6.3. Then egg yolk is added at 10% and antibiotics are added. Then the diluters for preservation of semen at refrigeration temperature. The most commonly used diluter for uh, preservation of semen at refrigeration temperature is egg yolk citrate extender. This is prepared by adding sodium citrate dihydrate 2.9 grams, penicillin G sodium 1 lakh units, dihydrostreptomycin sulfate 100 milligram, sulfanilamide 0 .3, uh, 300 grams and distilled water to make 100 ml. Egg yolk is then added at the rate of 20% to the above buffer solution, 20 ml egg yolk plus 80 ml sodium citrate. Then there is the D2 extender which contains sodium bicarbonate, 10 parts glucose, 40 parts fructose, 25 parts and egg yolk, 25 parts and then the antibiotics. Another uh, diluter for preservation of semen at, uh, room uh, at refrigeration temperature is Camp Smith's extender. This is prepared by adding sodium bicarbonate 1.3% solution 1 part, dextrose 5% solution 4 parts, sulfamethazine 1 part, egg yolk 1 part and antibiotics. Then egg yolk phosphate extender had been used at many places which is comprising of disodium hydrogen phosphate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate and distilled water to make 100 ml. To this solution equal parts of phosphate buffer egg yolk is added. Then diluters for preservation of semen at ultra low temperature. Cryopreservation uh, is the preservation of sperm cells at ultra low temperatures. At low enough temperatures any enzymatic or chemical activity which might cause damage to the biological material in question is effectively sp stopped. All the metabolic activities of cells stored at ultra low temperatures are stopped and uh, cells uh, remain viable but their metabolic activities are stopped preserving them for prolonged periods. The biological effects of cooling are dominated by the freezing of water which results in the concentration of the solutes that are dissolved in the remaining liquid phase. Rival theories of freezing injury have envisaged that either crystals pierce or tease parts apart the cells destroy them, destroying them by direct mechanical action or that damage is from secondary effects by changes in the composition of the liquid phase. However, without the addition of cryoprotectants, the cells rupture due to the solution effect also. The discovery of glycerol by Polge in 1949 as a cryoprotectant paved the way for storage of sperm cells at ultra low temperature for long periods. So, semen has been preserved since then using glycerol and it can be uh, kept at ultra low temperatures minus 196 degrees centigrade in liquid nitrogen for prolonged periods of time. Uh, cryoprotectants have to be added and cryoprotective agents can be divided into uh, two types the permeating and the non-permeating agents. Permeating agents such as glycerol can move across the cellular membranes and modulate the rate and extent of cellular dehydration during freezing induced membrane phase transitions. Non-permeating protectants including sugars and proteins are used as bulking agents and to increase the glass transition temperature of the freezing extender. Both permeating and non-permeating protectants form a protective glassy state during freezing, preserving the biomolecular and the cellular structures. Cryoprotectants have been classified into the permeating cryoprotectants which penetrate the plasma membrane such as dimethyl acid aldehyde, dimethyl sulfoxide, glycerol, ethylene glycol. They stabilize the cell plasma membrane proteins and reduce concentration of the electrolytes. Then non-permeating cryoprotectants unable, are unable to penetrate the plasma membrane such as albumins, dextrans, egg yolk citrate, hydroxyethyl, polyethylene glycols, polyvinyl pyrrolidine, fructose and sucrose. These CPAs minimize the intracellular crystallization by increasing the viscosity of the sample. The diluters for preservation of semen at ultra low temperatures therefore usually use 
glycerol and other cryo protectants added to the protein diluters like agiocitrate or tris agioc and milk uh, diluters commercially available diluters are also available and marketed by some companies now uh, tris agioc is one of the diluter which is currently being used for cattle and buffalo ram and camel semen and also for the bull the uh, composition of tris agioc for different species are shown here in this table the uh, tris is nowadays increasingly being used for many species including preservation of the bull semen cysteine hydrochloride is a membrane stabilizer used for buffalo bull semen buffalo and buck semen are deficient in citrate and citric acid should be added you can see citric acid is being added uh, in the diluter for preserving buffalo bull and buck semen and also for camel semen the commonly used diluters for uh, equine semen cryo preservation include the milk diluters powdered milk comprising of powdered milk 2.5 g glucose 4 g sodium bicarbonate 7.5% 2 ml and gentamicin sulfate 100 mg and deionized water to make 100 ml then there is the kennedy extender which contains milk non fat dry solids 2.4 g glucose 4.5 g deionized water 92 ml sodium bicarbonate 7.5% 2 ml and gentamicin sulfate 100 ml then commercially available diluters are available for diluting equine semen now we talk how we prepare the egg yolk citrate a egg is taken a, a chicken egg is taken it is uh, uh, sterilized by wiping it with alcohol and then kept for a few minutes then it is broken uh, using a forceps it is slowly it is broken and the albumin is allowed to escape the yolk uh, remaining yolk is taken on a filter paper and uh, to separate out the albumin then it is poured uh, it is uh, pierced and poured in a measuring cylinder and then sodium citrate is added at described as described previously in a table then what is the procedure of semen dilution semen immediately after collection is kept at 37 degrees centigrade in a water bath the diluter is also kept at the same temperature then the diluter should be checked for ph and other things and this then this add the semen to diluter in small parts and check the motility after each addition this assures that if the diluter is not uh, correct then if you add the complete uh, semen to the diluter and if the ph etc of the diluter are not not accurate then all the spermatozoa will become dead so if you add slowly in parts and then check the motility you will be very sure that the diluter is correct now what will be the semen dilution rates the dilution rates for semen would depend upon the sperm concentration and the freezing straw volume the freezing straw volume is varies from 0.25 ml or 0.5 ml or 1 ml for ampules but currently 0.25 ml straws are generally used at many places dilution is done in such a way that the final volume of semen straw will have 20 to 30 million sperms for bull semen as the final minimum number of as the final minimum number of sperms that are required for insemination is 10 million assuming that 50% of the sperms may lose their fertilizing ability by the process of cryo preservation 20 to 30 million is the initial uh, number of sperms that are kept in each straw so that finally the straw will have at least 10 million sperms required for one conception in cattle now before after dilution the semen has to be equilibrated keeping diluted semen to become adjusted to the diluter before freezing so that sperm cell membrane may become more permeable and sperms may withstand critical temperature minus 15 to minus 25 degrees centigrade for this uh, diluted semen is divided into two equal parts a and b to part a nothing is added 
and to part B glycerol is added at the rate of 14% of the volume. Now both the part A and B are stored for 4 hours at 5 degrees centigrade and then add part B in 4 equal amounts at 20 minute interval to part A. Now leave the semen at 5 degrees centigrade for 4 to 6 hours for equilibration. Then after equilibration the semen uh, is packed. Uh, it has been packed in ampules, polyvinyl chloride straws, but straws are more commonly used currently. The, this, is, this table shows the type of the straw, volume, length, surface area and the diameter of the straws. French medium straws 0 0.50 uh, is the volume, final volume, whereas for French mini straws the final volume is 0.25 ml and for the continental straws the volume is 0.25 ml. This is the diameter of the French medium mini and the continental straws. Now semen has to be filled in, the, in these straws before it is being uh, packed. For semen filling uh, it can be done by manual filling uh, but before filling of the semen using bubblers and combs and then uh, manual packing using uh, the PVP powder. But uh, before filling of the straws, the straws are printed using a automatic or uh, straw printing machine as shown over here. And uh, the straws are printed with the bull number, date of the semen collection and other uh, uh, required information by using manual or auto automatic semen filling machines. All the processes of uh, semen filling and packaging have to be done at 5 degrees centigrade. So we use uh, and many labs they use these types of cold handling cabinets uh, and uh, the semen filling is done in the cold handling cabinets. Then what are the uh, techniques of cryopreservation? Two techniques of cryopreservation have been uh, mentioned. One is the manual freezing, uh, slow freezing, which uh, includes the manual freezing, decreasing the temperature of the semen while adding a cryoprotectant in a stepwise manner and later plunging the samples into liquid nitrogen. Cooling rates of the specimen from room temperature to 5 degrees centigrade is 0 0.5 to 1 degree centigrade per minute. The sample is then frozen from 5 degree centigrade to minus 80 degree centigrade at a rate of 1 to 10 degree centigrade per minute. The specimen is then plunged into liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees centigrade. Then there are the slow programmable freezers. Liquid nitrogen is poured into the tank and the machine once programmed uses the software data logging to obtain cooling from 20 degrees centigrade to minus 80 degrees centigrade at the rate of 1.5 degrees centigrade per minute and then at 6 degrees centigrade per minute. At completion of the freezing, the straws are removed and stored in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees centigrade. This takes about 40 minutes. This technique is simple to use, does not require continuous operator intervention and increase the reprodu reproducibility of the freezing operations. However, nowadays rapid freezing approaches are more commonly used. The filled straws are packed on racks and the racks are placed above a wide mouth liquid nitrogen tank 5 cm above the level of the liquid nitrogen. The straws are kept in liquid nitrogen vapor for 10 minutes. The straws are collected and placed in a goblet filled with liquid nitrogen which is then placed in a canister and immersed in a liquid nitrogen container. So this is how semen freezing is being done. Semen can be kept diluted at refrigeration temperatures but uh, nowadays uh, the frozen semen is much more commonly used. So friends this is my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my LinkedIn link. This is my YouTube channel link. Kindly listen to the lecture completely. Give your comments suggestions and share and subscribe to my channel Govind Narayan Purohit if you like them.
थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे